Hello and welcome to Jim's EV Adventures. As you can tell from the title today, we're back to debunk a few more EV myths. But before we get started, I just simply want to ask you to subscribe to this channel. What you will not get from this channel is a plea to join and pay a monthly subscription. We already have too many subscriptions in our lives already, so I'm not going to ask you to pay. And you're not going to get reviews about products that I do not own and have not purchased with my own money. If you get a review from me, you can count on the fact that I've purchased that product and it is my honest review. So those two things alone, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe and I'm not going to give you fake reviews. Now let's get about the business of debunking the FUD that permeates our social media spaces. Electric vehicles have come a long way, but myths and misconceptions still cloud people's understanding. And today I'm going to debunk six additional common myths that continue to circulate about EVs. Ben Mullins is out there, he's leading the way, but he cannot do it alone. So I join his voice and stand shoulder to shoulder with him in this battle against the plethora of FUD, misconceptions and outright lies that saturate the internet about electric vehicles. So join me. So, let's get into myth number one. EVs are more expensive overall. A lot of people think that EVs are simply too expensive and not worth the investment. But let's look at the facts. Yes, sometimes EVs have a higher price compared to the traditional cars. But once you take into the account the lifetime savings, the costs even out and in all cases favor the EVs. We're going to look at the Ford Explorer and compare that to the Ionic 5, the Toyota Camry, and compare that to the Ionic 6 and the Model 3. And we're going to look at the Ford F-150, both the gas-powered and the Lightning version. And as you can see from what's on the screen, the fuel costs are astronomical when it comes to the Ford F-150, almost $20,000 for 100,000 miles, and $13,000 for 100,000 miles in the Ford Explorer. And then you look at the cost of operating a Camry, almost $7,000 for 100,000 miles, and compare that to any of the EVs. And you'll see that the price is substantially lower to operate, just from a fuel perspective, the EVs. And you have to take into consideration, EVs typically cost much less to power and maintain, and maintenance is one of the key things. Not only is charging cheaper if you charge at home overnight, but EVs have fewer moving parts and maintenance is reduced. There are no oil changes, fewer brake pad replacements, and even fewer trips to the mechanic. On top of that, there are federal and local incentives and rebates and other benefits designed to offset the initial purchase cost. And at that point in time, when you offset the purchase cost of an EV, it comes in cheaper than a ICE vehicle in the same class. So while the sticker price may be higher, the savings add up over time, making the EV more affordable than many people realize. Myth number two, EVs aren't environmentally friendly due to the battery production. Another myth is that EVs don't actually help the environment because the pollution involved in making their batteries. Well, that is just a bunch of hoopla and lies permeated by the fossil fuel f cartels. Yes, battery production does have an environmental cost and we should acknowledge that, but there have been studies after study after study that EVs still have a smaller carbon footprint than gas vehicles across their lifespan. In fact, the cost of making a battery breaks even at about 25,000 miles on average for most vehicles, some lower, some higher. Battery technology is also improving and manufacturers are making batteries with more enviro-friendly materials and scaling up their recycling efforts to reduce waste in the future. As energy grids continue to adopt cleaner sources like they have here in the U.S., as energy grids continue to adopt cleaner energy sources, their environmental impact of producing and driving EVs will also decrease. Let's not forget about the tar sands up in Canada. It takes two 
tons of material moved to produce one 17 gallon tank of gas. Tell me how efficient that is. And when we look at emissions over the entire life of a vehicle, EVs produce significantly less pollution than gasoline cars, making them the cleaner choice overall. It really is as simple as that. Here's one of my favorite myths. EV batteries don't last long and need constant replacement. Some people worry that EV batteries will degrade quickly and need costly replacements. But is that really the case? The truth is EV batteries are designed to last, often reaching into the hundreds of thousands of miles. In fact, every EV manufacturer that produces and sells vehicles in the United States of America is required to warrant them for a minimum of eight years or 100,000 miles. We really don't know yet how long they're really gonna last, but our guesses about EV batteries lifespans come from looking at the degradation in cars that are on the road now. In fact, over 50% of the EVs that are on the road were sold in 2022, 2023, and 2024. EV batteries are designed to power a vehicle for 10 to 20 years without repair or replacement. Battery replacements in the first 10 years are rare outside of the large publicized recalls like we had with the Bolt EV just a few years ago. The likelihood that a battery needs to be replaced varies by manufacturer, battery technology, vehicle usage, and most importantly, charging behavior. Battery technology has come a long way too. Newer batteries degrade much slower, and with some studies show, showing that they retain 90% of their original capacity, even after years of use. For most people, an EV battery will last as long, if not longer, than the car will. Recurrent Auto has monitored over 15,000 EVs for 250 million miles, and the average degradation for all models is between 1 and 2% per year. So while no battery lasts forever, the technology and warranties available today give EV owners peace of mind that their investments will go the distance. So that myth out the window. So myth number four is one that I did a recent video on. EVs aren't practical in cold weather. Some say that EVs lose too much range in the winter, making them impractical for cold climates. Well, number one, explain Norway. Go ahead, I dare you to try. Number two, it is true that cold weather can impact efficiency, leading to some range loss, but that also happens to gas cars, which use much more fuel in the winter as well. Most EVs come with features to mitigate this, like preheating while plugged in, and using the seat heaters instead of the cabin heaters can also help. I've already talked about that in my most recent video, and you can watch that. I'm providing the link in the description below. For most drivers, even with some range degradation, EVs still have more than enough capacity to cover their daily driving and in winter conditions. So yes, Winter driving affects range, but it's not a deal breaker. With a few simple adjustments, EVs remain practical and reliable even in cold weather. Myth gone. So now myth number five. EVs aren't safe in an accident. This is a misconception that states EVs are less safe than traditional cars, especially in a serious accident. Electric vehicles undergo the same rigorous testing as traditional cars, and many EVs have received top safety ratings from agencies like NHTSA and IIHS. In fact, you're going to be looking at some of the IIHS crash tests on screen as I talk. One of the advantages of EVs is the placement of their batteries, which lowers the center of gravity and reduces rollover risk. As for battery fires, they can happen in severe accidents, but they're no more common than fires in gasoline-powered cars. In fact, studies show that EVs are less likely to catch fire in an accident than traditional cars. The Ionic 5 that I recently purchased for my wife has an IIHS safety rating as a 2024 top safety pick. Again, the link is in the description below. So when it comes to safety, EVs hold their own against traditional vehicles. 
with solid safety ratings, lower rollover risk, and the same, if not better, safety standards and chances for fires. Number six, EVs spontaneously combust more than ICE cars. State Farm has recently decided to remove electric vehicle charging stations from its corporate parking lot facilities, citing concerns over fire risks. This change affects its main headquarters in Bloomington, Illinois, as well as other office locations around the U.S. with all chargers scheduled to be removed by the end of this month, October 2024. The decision follows a unilateral internal risk assessment, which reportedly identified safety concerns within parking garage settings that were difficult to mitigate. State Farm emphasized that it is prioritizing employee safety in making this adjustment and may consider alternatives such as placing EV chargers outside garages. Well, that's all said and good, Mr. State Farm. But I've got news for you, State Farm. You're wrong. You're dead wrong. I publicly challenge State Farm to explain why they made such a decision considering the NHTSA and Fire Council safety findings that state clearly EVs are 61 times less likely to catch fire than gas-powered cars and 131 times less likely to catch fire than hybrids. As for battery fires, they could happen in a severe accident, yes, but they are no more common than fires in gasoline-powered vehicles. In fact, studies suggest that EVs are less likely to catch fire than a traditional car in an accident. I have a crisp, brand new $100 bill that says you cannot prove scientifically, statistically, mathematically, or any other way that EVs are more dangerous than ICE vehicles when it comes to fires. In fact, I challenge anyone anyone to show me where a tanker full of electricity has caught fire, burned down a bridge, and closed traffic for months at a time. I have at least three instances, one in Birmingham, Alabama, one in Atlanta, Georgia, and one up in the Northeast in Connecticut, where tankers carrying fuel have crashed, burned down a bridge, and interrupted traffic. And I dare anyone to test my theory on this. Conclusion is this, I am openly calling on all EV owners who use State Farm to drop them as their carrier. Call them and tell them why. Obviously, someone at the, on the board at State Farm has a big bug up their butt regarding EVs, and that is a dangerous thing since State Farm is not publicly traded. They are owned by their policyholders. There are obviously many policyholders at State Farm who are too stupid to reason with, and they must feel the economic pinch of EV owners to ensure they cannot continue to do business in an asinine manner. State Farm, you're dead wrong on this point, and I challenge you publicly to prove anything that I've said in this video wrong, and I further charge you to a public debate on this issue. You name the time and the place, and I'll be there. These myths about EVs are persistent, but when you look at the facts, we always see a different story. Electric vehicles are practical, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. They are just as safe as any internal combustion engine car on the road. As we move toward a more sustainable future, it's essential to base our opinions on facts not the many myths that still permeate the automotive spaces. The lunatic naysayers will always be out there, but here we stick with the facts. If you think I'm just another EV blowhard, I will be more than happy to meet you on the debate floor anytime, anywhere. The Ice Boy fans on social media are all too cowardly to take me up on that challenge. So no worries, you won't be seeing me involved in the debate anytime soon because like cockroaches, they fear being exposed to the light. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more insights on EVs as we continue to advocate for a better tomorrow. Jim's EV adventures will remain on the front line facing these types of issues head on, boldly, without wavering in the face of adversity from the extreme ice idiocy that still permeates our social media spaces. 
I fear nothing or no one. And to quote one of my favorite singers of all time, I know what's right. I got just one life. In a world that keeps on pushing me around, I'll stand my ground and I won't back down. See you all soon. I would like to thank you very much for stopping by today. Please do remember to subscribe, share, comment, and like. And ring the notification bell so you'll know when we've uploaded something new. Remember, treat everyone with kindness, put a smile on your face, help someone today, and pay it forward when someone does the same for you. Again, thank you very much for stopping by today. We look forward to seeing you again in the very near future or somewhere along the route from point A to point B. Take it easy, everybody. See you all real soon.